<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and here we're going to be doing a little bit of a quick video, but something I want to cover for a bit here. This is going to be showing you all how you can download in a more modern way from Xpens. In case you do not know, Xpins has been a very long-running and pretty outstanding archive, but also just repository for really many, many things homebrew. Originally starting with the original Xbox, but as you can see over on the top left here, they've got a bit of everything. They've got a PC, PS3, Xbox One, Switch, pretty much everything, and you can see here the most recent releases, a lot of them being Fat Explorer, for example, uh, Sir Bios, and really any Anything else that you might need here uh, even custom boot animations for Sir BIOS if you're going to be on the Xbox so really if you have done any amount of original Xbox modding you have definitely heard of or tried to run into Xpins however for many people who might be unfamiliar with this you might want to click on something like for example let's say Avalanche patched and it's just going to bring you to a info file like this but not the actual download so that's what this is going to help accomplish for this here from my experience it typically helps out to come to the main Xpins page and look for what you are getting just so you can see what has been updated what has been released and such here but we're going to be using a newer application for this called Pandora now Pandora is from team resurgent and negates the need to use any type of manual FTP software and completely supersedes auto Xpins so there's absolutely no reason to be using auto Xpins at this point but you can go ahead and find the link for this down below in in the description of the video here and once you're over on the page for this you can come over to releases and download the latest version of Pandora specific to your operating system now the cool thing is this is available on Linux Mac and Windows since I'm using a Windows platform I'm going to be downloading the Windows zip file right here just go ahead download this and save it somewhere you can easily find it it is also worth keeping in mind before fully ripping into this here it would be recommended to look at this and just give it a quick once over for example you will need a prerequisite at least on Windows if you're using a 32-bit operating system make sure you have the visual C++ 2022 redistributable or get the 64-bit one if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows Windows. But as you can see, the install notes are pretty simple on here, and you have some nice comments, some screenshots on here, and acknowledgements to check out. Once you have it downloaded, however, you can right click and extract this, and recommend it to extract it into its own folder. Once you have it in its own folder, go ahead and double click to open it up and open up the Pandora executable. It'll look something like this, where at first you're going to get a command prompt window, and then you're going to get Pandora actually loaded up. And this is totally fine, just make sure you're really just focusing on Pandora here. We really don't need to focus on the command prompt window all too much. But once you're in here, quite literally, click on connect, and wait. Be sure to make sure you have volume enabled as well too, so you can get a little bit of a blast from the past. Now, if you're not instantly connected to it, that's not how it works. You just have to wait a little bit and wait for the logs to scroll down here. But once you are connected, you'll know because over in the remote section here, you're going to have this entire setup right here showing all your folders. And if you have all these folders here, then congratulations, that means that you are in Pandora. So just to show this here real quick, over on the furthest left hand side this is where you can select all of your drives over here in the middle section this is going to be the folder that you are on locally which you will download your files over to and on the right this will be where you are located within xpins itself once you are connected so here for example if you want to change your directories i want to change over to my d drive for example and inside of here i'm going to look for my xpins downloads folder and here, I've completely changed my drive, changed my directory, and this is where I'm going to download to. So in order to download something, let's go ahead and grab an application. We can come over to, let's say, the original Xbox, and you're just going to single click on something. And occasionally, if you get disconnected like this, that just might be because you really haven't done anything in the allocated time, which if you get disconnected, just click on connect yet again and wait. Once you're back in, we can try this again. So we can go to Xbox and here we can check out everything. So for example, I'll go to PC based applications, just see what all is here. Hard drive tools, for example, Fat Explorer. This is what I was wanting just as an example here. And here we have Fat Explorer 3.0 beta 20. So if you want to download something, you can just right click this and then click on download. And it's now going to begin downloading this. You see the progress is at 100%. 
And there we go, we have this downloaded onto our computer. If you ever want to go back, you just click on these two dots on this folder here and just keeps taking you up one folder, one folder. If you want to get anything else such as console-based applications, BIOS, and if you're wanting something such as SirBIOS or SirBIOS, you can come over here, get whichever one you're wanting here. And if you want to download this, right click, download, and there you go, you're done. So at that point, that is how you can connect to XBINs pretty easily and download what you need to. It does take some getting used to in order to navigate the folders and such on here, but you should be able to navigate it just fine once you get used to it. When you're done, just to be polite here, you can click on disconnect and you should be all good to go at that point. And now we can go ahead and close out of Pandora. And just to verify this here, as you can see, we have SirBIOS and we have Fat Explorer that have both been downloaded into my allocated XBINs downloads folder that I created. So that's about all there is to it. Anyways, there we go. It's been made that simple thanks to the efforts of Team Resurgent. We now have a pretty nice, pretty slick, pretty cool looking application that makes this super easy. Again, you no longer have to go through manual FTP. You no longer have to use auto XBINs, just use Pandora. Pandora and you're in. It's just one click connection at that point. Anyways, again, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully it helped you all out. If it did, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. As I always say though, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone.